Clara and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another speed build and this time it is Chandler and Joey's apartment from Friends. So um, I'm continuing with my Friends themed builds and uh, videos because I am working on getting all these done so I can start my Friends themed LP which I am very excited about. Um, I've been brainstorming some ideas and I just think it's going to be really fun. So yeah, so today I have Chandler and Joey's and um, I looked at some inspiration on Google again and uh, I stuck to, you know, the traditional like bachelor pad type thing. Like it's not too decorated. It's not, it's not very cluttered. There's not much going on in it, but I put the key things in there that um, were in their apartment, like the foosball table and, uh, the dartboard, but unfortunately the dartboard's in kind of like an awkward spot because that stupid, um, what is it? It's like a picture because this apartment is, um, one of the like historical ones where it has like the plaque thing that you cannot delete and it's really annoying, so the dartboard kind of like went right under it, and it just looks kind of funky, but that's where I wanted to put it, and that plaque was in the way, so I just said whatever, and I just put it there anyway, so yeah, but um, <clears throat> again, the same with Monica's apartment, I wasn't really sure what the bedrooms looked like, so I just kind of kept, kept them pretty bland, pretty basic, you know, nothing too crazy but again the focus was on the living space in the kitchen because that's really all you see in the show so and uh, I made like a makeshift um big giant entertainment center like Joey built in the show and I used like kitchen cabinets and like you'll see <laughs> um yeah it was like <clears throat> a makeshift big giant entertainment center I really wish we had actual like large entertainment centers for in the sims 4 because like a lot of people have them and i think they're really cool and they look really nice but we just we just don't have them so i had to make do and use um some kitchen cabinets and uh just make it work so yeah so um i've been trying to pre-record some videos and get caught up because this whole filming and editing and doing voiceover all in the same day and then posting like my video ends up going up really late in the evening and it's just a lot of work to do it all in one day so I'm gonna try my best to get some like stocked up so I can like make it easier on myself so I can just you know set them um to be schedule them to be posted at a certain day and time that makes things so much easier but I, it's so hard for me to do that because, first of all, I don't really, I'm not much of an early bird, so I don't very, I don't get up very early, like, I got up at 10.30 today, which is earlier for me because I am, um, very much a night owl, like, I will stay up till, like, 4 a.m. easily, and then I'll sleep in till, like, 11, and then, yeah, there's just not enough time to get everything done when you're sleeping in that late, so... I've been trying to wake up earlier so I can get done things I need to get done around the house and just random things I need to do and then I can have time to record and edit and do all this but like <laughs> again <clears throat> like my my sleeping schedule and everything is just so messed up but today I woke up at 10 30 and um I had a bunch of stuff to do around the house, so I didn't get around to recording and doing all this until, like, 3 o'clock, so, uh, it was, like, it was, it was nuts, but, yeah, my sleeping schedule is very much messed up. I really don't know how to fix it. I've been, I try to do things to make me nice and relaxed at nighttime so I can go right to sleep. But it just, I'm just such a night owl. Like, I've been stuck in my ways for so many years. Like, all throughout high school and even before that, I was this way. So, it's just, it's a habit and it's hard to break. But, and it's also hard for me to be on a set schedule because I work swing shifts. So, it's, you know, it's, my, my schedule's never the same. So, 
it's hard for me to have a normal sleeping schedule that most people have, so, but I've been trying to do things to, you know, relax and try to go to sleep at a decent hour, but, um, so, uh, so let me know in the comments below, what do you guys do? What is your favorite thing to do to help you relax at night? Because I would love to know, and I would love to try some of it out, because your girl is struggling with her sleep schedule, and it is messing me up, and there's just not enough hours in the day to get things done. So, <clears throat> but one of my, my things that I like to do is take a nice bubble bath with some candles and listen to classical music. Oh, I love doing that. So that's like my favorite, like, go-to relaxing thing. Like, with a face mask on, bunch of candles, nice relaxing music. <clears throat> it's just, it's great. So, yeah, that's about all I do, really. And I know, like, when you're trying to go to sleep, um, electronics are not good, but I'm always glued to my phone on Twitter, talking, chatting with you guys, um, always, like, trying to meet new simmers and check out new YouTube channels and watch, catch up on Let's Plays from my favorite simmers. It's just, I'm always on my phone. I'm always doing something, so, uh, it's really hard for me to unwind sometimes, so... Even if I do get embedded a decent hour, I'm still on my phone, like, scrolling through Twitter, watching videos, like, till the wee hours of the morning, so, yeah, it's just hard, hard for me to, uh, <laughs> get away from my phone, because I know you're not supposed to be on your phone, like, past a certain time so you can actually go to sleep, but, uh, yeah, also that's a habit, I've been doing that a very long time, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> like, my husband can get right in bed and go right to sleep in, like, two seconds, I swear. And I'm just laying there, like, wide awake. And it's just, oh my goodness. But, um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I felt like I talked really fast. But, uh, I'm just about wrapping it up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this speed build. And there will be more Friends videos coming up on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.